So a really smart uh, comment tonight from John or from uh, Matt Stinchcomb. Uh, you get confused which Stinchcomb would make the the smart comment, but he was on Paul Feinbaum tonight talking and comparing Georgia's uh, team this season with some of the teams in Alabama in the past. And John, with this comment, Georgia's as locked in as we've seen as anyone we've ever seen. And it's hard to disagree with that. Um, having watched and admired what Nick Saban's done at Alabama for such a long time, uh, this Georgia team is definitely in a position um, to to replicate that. And they'll have a massive challenge on their hand this Saturday doing that in Atlanta. And listen, uh, we've got a deal right now on Dog Post, $2.00. Uh, for two months, you, 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 you're you not going to want to miss the playoff run here with us. Uh, so make sure you're clicking below and getting yourself a subscription for two months uh, for $2. It's a great deal. Nick had this to say on uh, Monday, I think it was. might have been Sunday. Georgia's been the number one team in the country for good, and, uh, for good reason. They're probably the most consistent, most dominant team week in and week out. So obviously going it's going to be our biggest challenge, toughest test of the year. You know, Matt's skepticism was not black and white. He um, he was right to say that Alabama certainly could win this game. Um, they, they can. <laughs> but, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's sort of shifting here. Um, if, you've, if, if the notion is that, you know, Alabama's always beaten Georgia, therefore they will beat them again. Oh, I mean, Michigan, Ohio State, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, that just is that's not reality based. So that's one thing. Uh, secondly, uh, if you know Alabama's had it, this problem has come up with them over and over again this season. You know, and this is going off the top of my head, but the Florida game, the LSU game, the Auburn game, obviously the Texas A&M game. I, I don't know if I said Arkansas, but that's four to five games this season, just sort of not playing well or, or not up to the standard that we've gotten used to with Nick's teams. So. I think, you know, when you look at what Matt said, Georgia, independent of what Alabama's doing, is locked in. They are um, – it, it, statistics, I guess, are for losers, but they do prove a point. I mean, you know, Georgia's the number six offense in the country and they're the number one defense in the country. It's hard to – you know, because special teams are so chopped up, it's hard to do better than that in in, in a, a third of what you do. So uh, 66% of the time, Georgia is the top six team in the country, you know. So that's something that, um, you know, Nick has talked about that a lot this week, about Stetson's uh, efficiencies. Um, but I think, too, all you have to do to worry about how dangerous Alabama is or really both these teams. I mean, if you want to worry about how dangerous Alabama is and the mental toughness that they develop over time there, just just watch the Auburn game. I mean, the Auburn game really encapsulated everything about Alabama. They're struggling um, at times against teams that they, well, that they're better than. And they, you, you cannot just beat them once. You've got to beat them multiple times. You look at the Georgia game, you know, they play Tech as just as a team about as well as they played anybody outside of Arkansas and Vanderbilt. I mean, they they were totally as 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 Matt Sinchcomb said, locked in. They were there to win it, to destroy, to dominate, and they did. And so these two teams coming into the to this game, I mean, I think Georgia clearly has the advantage coming into this game. I mean, the the guys in Las Vegas feel like that's that's where it should be about a, a touchdown game or so. Um, I'm not shocked by that number by any stretch, six and a half. Um, I thought I think Georgia's the better team. If they if they played Alabama and lost, the next time they would play, if they played again, Georgia might be a three point favorite, but they would be the favorite again, just like uh, you know, if Alabama played Texas A and M tomorrow, uh, they would be I mean, they would be probably a, a seven to ten point favorite over Texas A and M. So um can Georgia take everything they've done this season, the methodical nature that this program has, or this team has built as they've gone on? Uh, they've gotten to this point in the season, and they're about about as healthy as they've been. Think about all the struggles the entire way through. 
JT Daniels, George Pickens. You know, half the season we've been wondering if JT Daniels is healthy or not. Well, it's, you know, Stetson's obviously got a lock on um, the starting position. My, my point is to demonstrate how many guys from Georgia offensively, Darnell, JT, George, uh, you know, you lose your starting guard, Tate Ratledge, to start the season. <laughs> I mean, it's it's been, you know, Kiaris, Blaylock, it has been a never-ending struggle for the dogs to stay healthy. And now Alabama is dealing with that with Robinson, their running back. And, and, and Bama's had a hard time running the ball when they want to. So all of that said, the – confidence that you see when you're on the sideline the well confidence is probably the best term the knowing that you can do it the steadfastness that you have the capability to win at Neyland no problem even if the other team gets up you're not that worried about it um I I just I think I think Matt hit it right that this is a team that's totally locked in. If they weren't locked in, they wouldn't have scored on whatever it was against Tech, like four straight drives. Did they punt in the first? I think they did punt in the first half, but it, it, it wasn't, you know, some crazy, uh, you know, struggle on offense like we saw in 19 down there when, you know, Jake Fromm really was having a heart, just not a good day. Stetson was totally locked in. He played excellent. Uh, you know, Brock Bowers, the defense, um, all of it. Jack Pinesley, all those guys have really played well. I, I can't recall off the top of my head how the punt game was, but I, I just don't think Georgia punted enough to where it would, would really matter a lot. So Matt's right. They're locked in. I think Matt is correct in terms of his skepticism for Alabama to win this game. You know, I don't, I'm certainly not saying they can't. Matt can speak for himself, but I'm certain he was not saying that Alabama can't. This is an Alabama team that has the capability to win any game they play, period. Now, let's not be dumb. Let's also recognize that they're having this – is, this is not the same Alabama as we saw a season ago. And um, nobody, nobody with um, an ounce of credibility would suggest that. Mac Jones, you know, that, that offensive line was exceptional, and nevertheless the running back game. So I just – I think Georgia – is locked in, but they got to prove it because just because you're the better team and you've been locked in the, during the season doesn't mean you can, you know, you're, you're, you know, that you can't lose. You know, we, we've seen really good teams late in seasons lose. And, um, you know, Alabama has gotten their clock clean before in national championship games, the Clemson game in um, 18, you know, the way they were beat up by Ohio State earlier uh, in the college football era in 2014. These are all things that, you know, kind of flash red lights for Georgia. Just because you're locked in, just because you're, you know, the, as Nick would say, the number one team in the country for good reason, doesn't mean the team that you're going to go up against, the team that's given you more trouble over the last decade than any program out there, they're not going to die. They're not going to roll over. You're going to have to do it. And if you don't do it, you're going to see them again. So this is an opportunity for Georgia. That's the way that, you know, this should be viewed as an opportunity to go up there and I think eliminate Alabama, although that's not a certainty. Uh, we'll see. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're signing up. Two months for $2 down below. We'll see you over on the website after you've signed up.